Do you miss playing Dungeons and Dragons or just have a hard time finding a group in your hometown? By integrating Discord and D&D Beyond, you can create a character from 1st to 15th level and then roleplay 24-7 in our Discord channels while combating monsters, crafting weapons, training new skills, and searching for items across our campaign world. You'll also have the chance to participate in random combat encounters and go on monthly virtual quests. As a community DM, you can run encounters and virtual quests for the community based on monthly modules written by our very own accomplished plot team. Join us. Join us. Check it out. Join the Discord. Join us. Join us. And let's create incredible stories together. Is money really worth all this? It's not about the credits. I've been looking forward to this for a long time. I bet you have. You're not getting the drop on the villains with sounds like that. Your game needs Sirenscape. The Sirenscape online player has a huge library of epic sounds for any situation. Epic games need epic sound. Go to Sirenscape.com to get started today. Get your customized jersey from MithralArmory.com, proud sponsor of Champions of the Realm. What's up, everybody? My name is Becca Scott. And I'm Uriah Faber. And we would like to welcome you to Champions of the Realm. This is a seven bout battle of Dungeons and Dragons between eight incredible players piloting really fantastic D&D characters. They're gonna play five rounds of combat in each of these battles, and we'll see who comes out victorious as Champion of the Realm. We have some amazing matchups, so let's check them out. Today's combatant brought to you by Sirenscape. I've been playing Dungeons and Dragons for about five years now or so. And for me, it's a, just a way to like really connect meaningfully with your friends and your family and your loved ones, whoever you want to play with. Uh, it's, it's, you, you get to experience 
your friendship on a level that I think is so unique. You create a, a level of bonding that I don't think you get to achieve in other, in other ways. She's off to the side and she's watching me. You're not allowed to watch! I've been playing Dungeons and Dragons since I was, since the original box came out. That's how old I am. Is that what this is about? To make me feel old and fat in this tight t-shirt? I hate you. Um, so I've been playing a long time. It's one of my favorite things to do in the world. It's where I spend my father's day. It's where I spend my birthday. I gather around the table with some of my best friends in the world. Um, and I game. In my battle against Matt, I am so looking forward to wiping that smug smile off of his face because he thinks he's gonna win, but he's got another thing coming. When I come to an event like this, I come ultimately prepared, very prepared. No, that's not true. I'm ready to dominate. I am ready to dominate Esmeralda on the battlefield of Champions of the Realm. I want you to know something. Um, if I lose, it's obviously because you cheat. Beetle and I are really evenly matched, unless he's listening to this, in which case I'm gonna smoke him. However, just between you and I, we're pretty evenly matched. The few things that's gonna be a, a distinguishing factor in this is counterspell for me, um, because otherwise we've got a lot of the same stats. So it's gonna come down to strategy and it's gonna come down to dice rolls. So Beetle is, I've been playing, I played Beetle for seven years in the campaign. I started a company called Beetle and Grimm's. I mean, if my character dies in today's game, I just want you to know we are no longer friends. And I will cry at the table, which I don't think it makes for good television. Um, my, here's my goal in going in. Uh, I'm going to distract her with my charm and then murder her with my rapier. Is that bad? Is that, I shouldn't, by the way, none of that's true. That's all a lie. I have many, I have many things up my sleeve. Today, I'm going to be playing for a charity that's very dear to the Realm Smith family. I'm going to be playing for Extra Life for the kids. Uh, and I'm really looking forward to um, raising some money for them today. The charity I'm playing for today, which is one of my favorite things about this, is that you pulled in charity. Beal and Grimm support an organization called Take This, which supports gamers and mental health. So um, when I win, all my winnings will go to Take This. So again, if I lose, it's your fault. Voices echo from beyond the reaches of our reality. Their whispers speak of what could have been, what has been, and what could still be. To hear the voices is a blessing and a curse. We must listen carefully, for there is knowledge in the echoes. Get your customized jersey from MithralArmory.com, proud sponsor of Champions of the Realm. These walk-ins brought to you by Mithril Armory, the official gear sponsor of Champions of the Realm. First up, we've got Esmeralda. Fighter level two, wizard level six. What do you think we're gonna see from her, Brian? A lot of spells, and to be honest, seeing the two of them together, I mean, they've in each other's faces. It's, it's, it's definitely no lost love between these two. Yeah, I think we're definitely gonna see the maximum amount of trash talk possible between these two combatants. Yeah, and they both have intensity. I feel like Beetle has his own type of intensity, which is loud and overbearing, and Esmeralda's just kind of uh, coy, but but a little nasty. I can feel it from. Okay, what is a battle without a fellow combatant? Coming up now, we have Beetle, second level rogue, sixth level wizard. That's how we do it. 
No, you're not supposed to talk to us. You're supposed to ignore us, Matt. Rogue is not fitting Beetle's personality, to be honest. They're supposed to be elusive and hiding out. I don't get a hiding out vibe from him. I don't know if he's going to be able to pull that off. They broke the mold with that one. I don't know what to expect with this wild card. I mean, he's got a wand of wonder who gave him that thing, and what is he going to do with it? I can't wait to see which spells come out of this guy. Let's get to the action with Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. This match is brought to you by Will Smith and sponsored by Dungeons and Dragons and Idol Champions of the Forgotten Realm. When the action begins, our Dungeon Master will be Jason Azabedo. Introducing first, portrayed by Dora Ibrahim, and playing for extra life, standing at 5 feet 9 inches tall, and weighing in at 120 pounds, presenting legendary monster hunter, traveler of the mist, and founding member of the Dawn Raiders. Esmeralda Savani! Their opponent, portrayed by Matthew Lillard, and playing for Take This, standing at 4 feet 5 inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. He's a dwarven rogue and wizard, fighting! Out of Icewind Dale, presenting the defender of ale and champion of the Giants Main Tavern, Beetle! All right, you know the rules. Five rounds in Dungeons and Dragons combat. In between each round, you can spend hit dice in order to heal back hit points. Effects carry over. Conditions do not. Are you ready? Super ready. Are you ready? Ready. Let's roll initiative. This tale of the tape is brought to you by Forge Gaming. Let us introduce you to Esmeralda. This human is a fighter level two, wizard level six, with an armor class of 18, but watch out when that blade song is activated, it brings it all the way up to 21. Uh-oh, it's Beetle, the mountain dwarf. Rogue level two, wizard level six, with an armor class of 15, 53 max hit points, plus six to intelligence and dexterity saving throws. You are magically transported <laughs> to an area that is very familiar to one of you. Esmeralda, as you look around, you see that you are completely surrounded by a cube of mist. On all sides, 80 feet tall, 80 feet across, and an 80 foot roof. You know that obviously these mists are deadly and impenetrable, and the only way to escape them is to beat each other in Mortal Kombat. We are in the mist dome. Two man in dark. One beetle leaves. <laughs> As you look across the field at each other. Right, okay. It is cold, it is damp, and the sense of impending doom has settled upon you all. I would like you both to roll initiative, please. Question. Is it dark? Is it light? Is it daylight? Overcast. Overcast. Okay. Um, this is big, right? Hey, yeah. best of luck. She shouldn't have fallen for that. <laughs> oh, no! Classic. I will mage hand slap your face! No, you do Filming not. Filming TV's Matthew Lillard! I have a she's going to get him back for that. I'm Beetle. Greatest dungeon delver ever. Roll, are you ready? I'm ready. I'm ready. These dice are hot. I, can I don't feel need them. your stinky breath on my dice. Feel. What'd you get? <laughs> Not good. You roll first. Uh, no, you rolled. What'd you I get? Did, no, no, no. What'd you roll? Uh, I got a, I got a seven. Oh. I got an eight. <laughs> <laughs> a five plus three on my initiative is yeah, eight, eight, so I win this okay. round. So All when right. we when the action starts, you will be you will take first round. Okay. Okay. All right. Yeah. Hey. This is fun. I, I mean it. Yeah. Good luck. Okay. Good luck. All okay. right. You'll need it. All right. Welcome to round one. Beetle, you have the first turn. What do you do? 
Um, oh, first of all. Yeah. When Beetle looks across the field, what does he see? He sees a very tall woman with dark wavy hair. She is carrying a rapier in one hand and a short sword in the other. And she looks like she is just ready to slash her way out of this entire thing and taking anyone down with her. Okay. You see across from you a, 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 a agile looking dwarf. He's got a, a long beard that's crossed and braided and then tied at the end. He's in all blacks. And he looks over and says, why do you have weapons? Why don't you just drop them now? Let's do ourselves both a favor. Take a knee and I will kill you slowly. What? I couldn't hear you from all the way back then. <laughs> oh, I had no idea that you were, you had problems hearing, I'm sorry. Let me get closer and I'll move. Okay, I'll put you on the So I'm gonna take a, I'll take half of my move and then cast and then hide. I wanna find a good way to like run and hide and then distract. And it's only one round, right? So, I, if I want to set things up for later, I may not have to even attack. I probably will, just in case. So I will, if she's there, yeah. I'm, gonna, I'm gonna take my move action, I'm gonna do my acrobatics, I'll take an acrobatics roll, jump up, jump to the top, I'm gonna cast with my, um, with my wand of uh, wonder. This wand is true. And, uh, and then I'm gonna take the rest of my move action into a hide. Okay. So let me read, just for people playing at home, I'll, yeah. I'll read uh, what the wand of wonder is. Yeah. Wand of wonder has seven charges. While holding it, you can use an action to expend one of its charges and choose a target with 120 feet. You are well within range, Esmeralda. Um, and there are many effects. And they're all wondrous. Are you ready? Uh, Let's see what you got. Where is? Do you accept that? Mm, sure do. Okay. And what are what are the? Uh, well, we'll just take it. Yeah, we'll find out. Um, ninety-five, and that's not going to be good for you. <laughs> the higher it goes, the more damage it does. Oh, okay. A burst of colorful shimmering, shimmering, uh, shimmering light extends from you in a thirty-foot radius. You and each creature in the area that can see must succeed on a DC 15 con save or become blinded for one minute. The creature can repeat the saving throw at the end of its turn, ending its effect on itself on a success. I really hate that I've used this wand. It's the last thing I really wanted to do, but because I had initiative, I wanted to try to do damage. Yeah. And it's a real mistake. Yeah, because nobody else other than you is in that 30 foot radius. Um, a target, uh... Now is it, are you able to cast it at a distance? From you in a 30 foot radius. From you. From you. So okay. it's like 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Yeah. And so you have to roll for yourself, is that what it said? That's correct. Yeah. I have to make a con save Because you're in 15. it? And I am you in have it. To, this is the wondrous one, oh. which I really, I really yeah. regret playing at this I point. I bet yeah. you are. Yeah. Roll um, a con save. Wand of Wonder can really, um... Be bad. Okay, no, so like here's it. the thing. I don't know what it's gonna do, but once it goes off, yeah. do I have a chance to close the space to cast or no? I just have to do it no. on myself. No, this is rad. This is horrible. A DC 15 con save. Yeah. 19 on the dice. Okay. You wanna get a close up of the 19, anyone? You got the 19. Got yeah. I, I literally use that as an effect to then hide. Okay. Use the rest of my turn right. to hide. You have you used wanna... all your movement to get up there. No, what do you mean? And you spent your action to use your Wand of Wonder. And then as a hide action, bonus, as a bonus action, action. action. Yeah, so you can attempt to hide, except you have to break line of sight in order to hide. Okay, well, it's 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. Yeah. Okay. I consider it cl climbing, so climbing it's difficult terrain. I've actually okay. given you a bit extra movement there, considering that okay. you moved in. I do have a lot of ranks in acrobatics, so... Yeah. I, okay, I didn't expect it to be um, rough terrain, but I accept that as a, as you are my DM yeah. and you are the master storyteller. Yeah. I appreciate hey, being at your table. Give me a, give Don't butt it up to him, dude. I'm doing a little kissing up to the refs and the judges. Right. Yeah, yeah, we all see that. I don't know, Jason does uh, sorry, seem susceptible a, a, a to that kind of sweet talking. With disadvantage. Stealth check with disadvantage. 
to hide. At disadvantage. Yeah, of course. I just think that's real rude. <laughs> there are people watching right now. <laughs> At disadvantage, I just was a big colorful light. Yeah. Like, I must have been distracting. Yeah. Disadvantage. Five. Yeah, I don't even have to roll again. Okay, so. Okay. Well, we'll see. What, what is that with your, with your stuff? It's, you have I mean, stuff? I have an un Yeah, it's yeah. I have 14. Because I think I have a plus nine on stealth. Okay. That's 14. So, so 14. let me roll again. Yeah. Just in case I don't get lowered. That's Crit. a natural 20, but you still get the 14. I just want you to know that's what's coming. Crits. All day long, Mama. There we go. That's that signature trash talk. That is, We're that is your turn, Esmeralda. So am I sitting up on top so of this thing? You are well within my my no, line of sight. You're attempting to, to hide. I'd like you to give me a perception check, please. Ooh. My hiding is jumping down to the other that side. Can trash talk can backfire. I've seen guys talk themselves into a worse fight. Six. Okay. So at this point, you've because of the radiant beam and explosion that has happened up here, you're having a hard time seeing him. He's not hidden, so you're not getting disadvantage on your check, but you're just having a hard time locating him currently. Okay, but you will say that I saw where he ran yes. initially. Yes, so you know the location him. he was before he left. Yes. Cool, that's before all I that need. Happened. Yeah, okay. absolutely. I don't know if a turn has ever gone worse in the history of Dungeons and Dragons. <laughs> to be fair, he could have blinded himself. True, but he is self-aware. There wasn't a great Move. A very eerie, very dissonant sound coming that can only be described as music in the treacherous land of Borovia. Mm -hmm. As I bonus action cast Blade Song, mm -hmm. my AC is now uh, elevated, mm -hmm. and because I have two weapons in my hand, but I'm a warcaster, eh, eat it. You see from one of the weapons in my hands, a finger point directly where I had seen you climb mm -hmm. and cast Fireball. Fireball is one of the most powerful spells that each of these players has Fire. in their arsenal. Fire energy streaks in your direction and explodes where you were standing, which is also where you're currently standing. Okay. I'd like you to roll a dex and, save, please. Uh, I, I honestly think it was cocked. But the no, maximum five. damage uh, is 8d6s. Okay. But you, you get a bonus on that. Yeah, but... Uh, plus six. Plus... So that's an 11. Yeah, yeah. Your DC is higher than 11, I'm For assuming. For sure. Oh, yes. Okay. Okay. So you take full damage. Okay. Right. Okay. So after casting Fireball, I am not going to roll dice because there are so many mm -hmm. to roll for damage on mm -hmm. here. 28. 28 okay. points. You take 28 points Copy of fire that. damage. Do I... How do I take that? That is more than half of his starting hit okay. points. Okay, great. And then I would like to take my movement. Yep. The last game board is pretty sweet. You can see it activating the board right there. Back to your corners. We will be back for round two in a second. Esmeralda got an insane amount of damage. I think it's very clear that she definitely won that first round. Beetle with it. He doesn't think there's ever been a worse round for somebody Ouch. in the history of D&D. And that was his statement and his experience. And I got to agree with him. I'm excited to see what kind of turn he can make though, because no matter how magically he fails, it will be interesting. It's gonna be explosive, that's for this sure. This corner cam brought to you by Hero Forge. Build your custom mini today at heroforge.com. I really thought that I was screwed with that, not with losing the initiative round, but mm -hmm. then, and then I thought I was doubly screwed, but like, man, I was so lucky that there was a 30 foot radius, because I, I don't know what could happen. Oh yeah, 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 just make sure you use that action economy well. I think uh, he made bad. He made a bad choice. That is all. No, you got this. You'll be great. I mean, I thought for sure that I would get over the top of the rock. I didn't think there was any chance that I would get stuck on top of the rock. I mean, clearly, that wasn't cool at all. And now. I'm screwed at the top of round two, so what am I gonna do? That's my question. Could somebody text me or tweet at me or something? Because I really, I honestly think that's the single worst round of combat in the history of Dungeons and Dragons. Like, it was probably a game back in like 84, like 2.0, that somebody had a worse round. Um, and the sad thing is, I really thought about this. Listen. Here's the deal. If this doesn't go my way, I'll just get drunk. Top of the round, you have initiative, go ahead. Oh, I go yeah, first again, oh. Yeah. Oh God, okay. Yeah. Um. Power of initiative. 
as bonus action old cast play its own. You hear the same exact song, pitch perfect. Actually, one octave higher. If you sang, I sang. Is it because you're little, smaller than I am? And then, as you hurt me, <laughs> as, you, as you cut me deeply, I... <laughs> what a challenge. I love um, this challenge. They both have equipped blade song. This is a plus three to their armor I, classes. Uh, apparently she has full cover. You saw where she went, but she yeah. just hit it. Okay. Um, I'm going to I'm gonna prepare ready action. Yeah. And if she's behind, yeah. I'm going to close your eyes. I'm not telling you where I'm going. <laughs> You're cheating. She's cheating. Dad, Listen. she's cheating. Well. If I close my eyes, your mini's still on the table. I don't worry about it. <laughs> so I'm gonna. Um, There's some real indecision happening for Beto. I'm gonna close. He's right, frustrated. 10, 10, 20, 20, 20, 20, 30. Frustration can be um, a scary thing in a fight. You get frustrated, you make mistakes. 40. That could be the end. One false move could end you. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna. Five, ten. Okay. You can I'm, get there. Okay, I'm gonna get there, and I'm gonna cast. Um, do I have to tell her what I'm casting? She has to hear it. Depends on if you're if if you're, well, you have to say it. Now. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna Whether cast. Whether or not Esmeralda hears it. I'm gonna cast Summon Fae. Okay. Ooh, it's a bold no. choice. That's gonna be another right. attacker uh, every round. Right. Yes, I would love to. Sorry. Um, summon Fae, you call forth the Fae Spirit and manifest in an unoccupied space that you can see within range. The corporal form of Fae uh, uses the Fae stat, yeah. and you get to pick one of the three Fae's. You can either pick um, a f uh, Fuming, Mirthful, or, or Tricksty. I'm going to cast Mirthful, a Mirthful Fae. Um, so I will cast the Fae here. Is it within distance? 90, 90 feet. feet. So yeah, so you can cast it there. Okay. Yeah. Even yeah. like a line yeah. of sight. So here, here you can do it. Yeah, yeah. yeah so I sure. do that. It's okay. within 10 feet. Okay. And you have to make, it, it comes out as a perfect replication of Beetle. Okay. It just is a pixie. It's okay. a pixie floating inside, uh, right in front of you, and it's Beetle. It's, hi, why can't we just be friends? Make a save. Oh, you can't fight your own battles, I see. Mm. All right, DC. A little taunting. Um, wisdom saving throw against your spell save, DC. <laughs> so wisdom saving throw for you, Esmeralda? Okay. And my save is a 14. Oh, man. That's a critic. That's a fail all day. That is a two. Okay. So you will be charmed until the end of this turn. All right. Bye. And he says to me, he says, wouldn't you like to sit down and play patty cakes? <laughs> and he's, he literally comes up to Why you. are you playing she with fell cakes? For the old right, patty right cakes. Next to you and Can't resist patty it. Cakes. Put your weapons down. Put your weapons down. <laughs> Do I, can I, like, okay. If he says put my weapons down. I'm not, because it's charmed. It's, it's not charmed. automatically no, like, consider them as a what friend. you're saying. Got no, you. Yeah. And get out of here. I'm trying to fight this other guy. I'm kind of like you. He doesn't want to fight. He's scared you heard him the yeah, last He round. doesn't want to fight you. You look I, like him. He I really don't want to argue with you. I don't think you should be here right now. <laughs> so I don't care really That's what happens. Yep, yeah, absolutely. That's the end of your turn. Esmeralda, it's your turn. Um, could I cast Dispel Magic on this thing? Uh, can you dispel a charm effect? Uh, like, can I, no, can I dispel the Fae? itself because i'm like you gotta you get dispel, out of here the spell for a sec yes uh the fake can force one creature you can see within 10 feet of it to make a wisdom saving throw against my spell dc unless the save succeeds the target is charmed by you and the fae for one minute until the target takes damage so it doesn't say anything else uh read the spell for a sec choose one creature object or magical effect within range any spell of third level or lower on the target ends for each spell fourth level or higher on the target make an ability check using your spell casting ability the dc equals 10 plus the spell's level on a successful check the spell ends i would just argue why if she's charmed why would she want to disarm my friend you've got to get out of here that's okay i'm going to protect you like hell you are. Why don't you believe me? I hate you. I'm because always. Have you been in these mists? Every, Everything betrays you. As, as soon as I mean, this is her turn. <laughs> I yep. just want to keep going yep. to get through. Am turn. I okay. able to use dispel magic? Um, give me an insight check. Okay. No. The moment With this is getting heated. Nice. I'll take that. Eighteen. 
and a six. Okay, with a six, you think that this thing isn't a threat. So I would think that dispelling it wouldn't make yeah. sense. Okay, um, then I am going to move the other way because he's here, right? Yep, uh, here. Here, yeah. okay. So that's within 10 feet, right? Yeah. So I'm going to move my... That's okay, I'll come with you. That's what I'll do, I'm gonna hide. He's there. got it on the run, okay. which is a brilliant move yeah. after his first debacle All of right. a round. You're still in full cover, you're away from the face. Is and, that your turn? Um, yeah, because I, I, at this point, I can't... You still have an action. I can't see Beetle. Yeah. Um, but Esmeralda seems a little flustered now. The tables have turned. I, okay, I will cast invisibility on myself. Okay. All right. Well so done. my Fey is following. It will on its turn. It, it moves on your turn. It, it moves. It would move on your turn. So you've summoned it. It did its its effect, and then it'll move. He on started out mirthful, and now he is fuming. But, it, but now, now right now you've broken line of sight, so it would do a perception check with disadvantage to find out if it knows where you've gone afterwards. Okay. Okay. But I am invisible. Yes. Cool. Good. Good. End of round two. We'll see you in round three. Okay, welcome to round three. That was quite an interesting round. Again, at the top of the round, does anybody want to spend hit dice to heal? No. I have not taken any damage. All right, Beetle, it's your turn. That will change. <laughs> uh, okay, my I move first. Um, do I have any sense? I, I know that she's left, right? Because the yeah. Fae has said, I mean, would the Fae have said, she moved, she's moving. I do mean, you have telepathic link with the Fae? I don't believe I do. Okay. And and you control it on your turn? Does it, it share your initiative? Me, okay. But it, can I hold off? You can ready an action until it goes and then you can go. Okay. Um, I'll say in Sylvan, where is she? Okay. Um, and it can respond. It can respond. Yeah. I lost her, I lost her. And it, it, it will come around the corner where she was. Yep. Any sense of where she is? Give me a uh, perception check with disadvantage, please. Um, okay. That was a 12. And that's a 10. Okay, I'd say with the 10, you cannot see her. Okay. Okay. I'm going to come around 5, 10, 15, 20, because I didn't hear anyone move this way. Uh, I didn't hear anyone this way. She is in this corner somewhere. Somewhere, right? You don't know where. You um, can also give me a perception check now. Oh, okay, great. I, am, I, am I at disadvantage as well? Yeah, and I would say, um, yeah. I rolled a two, so that's for yeah. sure. Okay, so, okay so that happens, and I cast. Um, I cast Thunderwave. In what general direction? Uh, I, it's 15 feet. I mean, it's a 15-foot cube yeah. um, originating off me. Okay, so. So I'm going to try to keep my fey out of it. Yeah. So then I'm gonna blast um, Thunder Wave with third level speed. Okay. Uh, thunderous force sweeps out from me and each creature in a 15 foot cube originating from you must make a con saving throw on a failed save. A creature takes 2d8 thunder damage and is pushed 10 feet away from you on a successful save. A creature takes half at a higher level. So I'm casting it's 4d8. Okay. Okay. Um, and I'm going to make it is my spellcraft, so I don't hit my fed. Yeah, so if, if you stopped here, you can do 15 feet originating from you centered. Perfect. And be in this area somewhere. Yeah, and I'll even do this, because I don't know if she's in that area. Sure. She may be in that area. Sure. So I'm happy to split the difference. Yeah. Because I don't, you know, yeah. I don't yeah. know really where yeah. she is. Yeah, and okay. either way, if it's centered on you, it's going to hit her anyways, but. Yeah. Okay. Um, so 4d8. Terrible roll, take 15 damage, get pushed back 10 feet. Unless you oh, save. Oh, I have to make a con save. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Which I oh, have. Is it con save? An, yeah. Um, yeah, it's con save. Yeah, okay. So I, I get, with Blade Song, get another plus three to my con saves. Okay. Yeah, you do. Ooh. 26. Nice. You make it, no problem. So, so I'm still so, invisible? Yeah, it's, con it's, it's a concentration spell. So, yeah. so you so took I damage, to, so you need to make a con save. So I have to make, so, which I get advantage on to yeah. see if I still yeah. stay invisible. Yeah. Which I also have is six. 15, so that's for the first one. 
I think this genius Beetle really had to 16. dig deep and find a way to and get around that first round. Uh, He's done it so far. Down. He's really on it's on the attack, and she's on the defense, yeah. which is so exactly where you want to be in a fight. Yeah. What was the save? What did I need to beat? You beat it. Okay. You beat it. Yeah. So I'm still invisible. Yeah. You can push back ten feet. No, she 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 passed her con save to to stay still, and she passed her con save to keep her concentration. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Great. Okay. Yeah. Um, the Faye gets an attack, uh, but the Faye will hold. Can I get a reaction, though, because I was attacked, or is it only if I take damage? Yeah, so you were hit by an attack, so you can take it. So reaction. I can't, okay. I'm going to cast Shield as a reaction. That brings your armor class up. Right? That brings my armor class up, up to, hold on, because now, currently it's 21. That brings it up another five. And what did you roll in order so to hit with that Thunder Wave? Well, she did it after the yeah. thunder. Wave. But it negates the. She sh shielded. Next time, though, shield right after the attack and not after damage is right. Gotcha, gotcha. Okay. So, so, yeah. So okay. save that shield. Hmm. And you see Beetle come sauntering around and the corner. He is close. He sure is. He is close. Let me see. So I will first attack with my rapier. Becoming visible. Yeah. So, she, so visible. which will pop me back yep. into visibility. Okay. But yep. that's okay. It's totally worth it. Uh, ooh. And 20. Hits. Four. So, okay. So, whatever. Uh, all right. So, that's for the first one. And it's 8d8 plus 5. 8d8? No, 1d8. I said it's I was supposed to say. Uh, <laughs> 8d8? <laughs> what kind of rapier is this? It's 8d8 <laughs> okay, plus 5. Um, so that's 11 points of damage. Uh, okay, so I would like to cast Chill Touch as a bonus action. 19 to hit. Um, hit. It's a 1. No, it's 2d8. Oh, yeah. Uh, so that's nine points of necrotic damage that you cannot heal until my next turn. Copy that. Okay. So it that's, always has nine. And then I nine. would like to move. Mm -hmm. um, and I know that's opportu opportunity yep, attack. Yep, sure will be. Um, but I am going to move, let's see. Yeah, unless you take your whole action to disengage, you give your opponents an opportunity attack to hit you. 30, 35, is this par partial coverage if I'm here? Yeah, it would be, yeah. Okay. Um, as that, as a opportunity attack, can I do a fireball? I believe so. Okay. Ooh, the um, so my caster feet. 11. Yes. Yeah, that's a mess. All right. That is the end of the round. We'll mm. see you back next round. Today's Copy players that. are wielding the Lost Odyssey Iron Legacy Collection dice sets. Get your collector set at dogmite.com slash iron legacy. The audacity to have somebody else come in and fight his battle. Right. I'm fighting my own battles. He should fight his own He's battles. He's clearly a coward. Also, the phase kind of cute. I can hear you. I am not a coward. What? Here's the thing. If Grim was here, because I'm from a company called Beetle and Grimm's, he, he uses things like this. And he does a lot more damage than I do. I would sneak around as a thief and like steal things and like pill for gold and I love magic. Um, but if I'm honest with myself, Grim did all the killing. I I think the best choice I have right now is just say sorry and see if we can start again. I think that's the only hope I have. <laughs> or the Wand of Wonder, which totally did me dirty the first round. This is bad. I think I have to use all my hit dice. All right, welcome round four. Any of you want to spend hit dice? Yes, I want to spend hit dice. Yes, I want to spend. Why do you even have to ask that? It's like a low blow, Jason. How many? All of them, Jason. Okay. Spend, all of them. Spend all of them. I don't know where is the hit dice. How's, how's that necrotic damage feeling? Like you letting you. that simmer? Nothing marinate? about me likes you. <laughs> One again. I don't know who made these dice. These aren't the dice I brought, and they're killing me. Oh, there's eight. Seven and one is eight, and I'll go to... Don't blame the dice. Another one. <laughs> Another one. And a two. Oh my god. <laughs> that is an insane amount of ones oh, rolled on D6s. <laughs> if you were For nicer to me earlier, I would have been like, I'm so sorry. No, no, you're not. <laughs> okay, okay, so you're gonna heal 12, and, and sorry, you. Did you check them off there? You Don't worry, we both know I now, used all of them. How many did you use? You used all of the sixes? 
No, all, all of them. Get away. <laughs> What's the distance between her and I? 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Uh, I will move half my distance and then cast as a clear line of sight. I'll keep going until I get a clear line of sight. Then I'll cast Lightning Bolt. Okay. So do I have to read Lightning Bolt? Because I'd love to read yep. that one to the Please people do. at home because let's be honest, it's the only chance I have of winning at this point. A stroke of lightning, when, it, when you see it, it emanates from me, it's like a blue streak. And it goes from my hand, the whole hand shines blue and I, like I punch it. Like I want to punch your face. <laughs> Uh, lightning shoots out from me and annihilates it? you. I think he does mean it. Nice. Um, so, that's a third level spell. Um, there's lightning. It's 8d6. It's a dex 14 save for half. Okay, counter spell. What level were you casting? Because if it ain't broke, third. don't cast mending. So you hope that <coughs> happens and it goes <coughs> How How come I don't have counter spell? I want counter spell. Uh, okay. He does not so, have so, damage. I didn't well, take any. You're, you're still attacking, right? Yeah, but he goes so, right after. Oh, yeah. yeah. So I'll move so, distance yeah. and stick her with a rapier. Um, and then I attack with my rapier plus one. Uh, it's a critical hit. Damage. Yeah, damage. yeah. So, yeah. so, so D8 roll, roll plus damage. four. Let me, let me use my magic dice to get my one. We'll do. One! I got a one! We're going to do Realmsmith rules on crits. That's how we do crits. Here at Champions of the Realm. What is? So that is maximum damage on the first dice. This is, and I'm then throwing this away. But you rolled a one. I refuse so that dice. So it's eight plus one is nine. So I got nine points. Nine points, points of damage. Nine points Rolling of damage. a natural um, king, you should always get maximum damage. Right after me is my Faye. Yes. So they will take their move. Yeah. Then Faye step okay. to be on the other side. Okay. So his Faye um, no longer will friend to her, okay. at least appearing. Now it's um, a pure attack, 13. correct? That's right. That's and it has one. two attacks. Yeah. Does not. That is the end of your turn. Yep. Esmeralda, you're up. Okay. Seeing as I'm surrounded on both sides now, I am going to bonus action Misty step out of here. So I'm going to be back where you started. Ooh, in your spawn. Yep. So just to make it hurt a little more. Ooh. And so that was my bonus action. And then I'm going to cast Fireball. Because Counterspell! Oh wait, never mind. Okay, so make a deck save then. Deck save! Come, come also, on! Isn't the face that I want it to surround so yeah, both yeah. you and yeah. your and your Yeah, fae. yeah. The face behind the rock! It's in this Fireball. <laughs> <laughs> okay, roll the damage. So you're gonna get half damage then? Yep. That's sixteen, so you take eight points eight. of eight. damage. Copy that. Um and then for the Fae, got another. Yeah, uh, I got Dex some save for the Fae as well. I got some other stuff I'm doing after. Okay. 11. Okay, so he takes full damage. So he's, down, he's down 16. Yeah. Okay. Ooh, okay. that fireball okay. and was then good. I am, am I going to, let's action surge. And I am going to cast Another fireball. Action surge she can use once in this hot whole bout. Hot. <laughs> and she gets an additional action. I fail my save. I don't critically fail, but I fail. Now, action surge allows you to just cast a spell as well, right? Just I mean, you get to do two spells. at home, action surge, once per short, a long rest. It just says you can take one additional action on your turn. Okay. Fighter. That's okay. true. That's what the action but surge does. That then applies Fighters to are powerful. as well. If you're a fighter, action surge applies to a. a you you're an basically action as a character. You're casting two spells, which isn't normal. Oh, you're not allowed. So you're not allowed to cast. But two as spells warcaster, you can. I don't. No, you can cast a bone. You can cast a cantrip as a bonus. Oh, a cantrip and, as a bonus. Yeah. Okay. So I would say no. You're right because you can't so, cast. So then, but I can. But I could. Do I'm not trying to be better. You're right. You're I'm right. happy to lose right. with grace. No, so then I could do a cantrip. Because so I could do a cantrip. Yes. Okay. Cool. Then I will um, cast a fire. Yep. Okay. But that's a. Well, that's why I go to the book for because action surge does give you a whole additional action. That is an 11. That misses. <laughs> okay. okay. Uh, All right. And that is my turn. That is the end of round four.
miss playing Dungeons and Dragons or just have a hard time finding a group in your hometown? By integrating Discord and D&D Beyond, you can create a character from 1st to 15th level and then roleplay 24-7 in our Discord channels while combating monsters, crafting weapons, training new skills, and searching for items across our campaign world. You'll also have the chance to participate in random combat encounters and go on monthly virtual quests. As a community DM, you can run encounters and virtual quests for the community based on monthly modules written by our very own accomplished plot team. Join us. Join us. Check it out. Join the Discord. Join us. Join us. And let's create incredible stories together. This is Champions of the Realm. I totally think you should argue to Jason that that is not the right way to approach that spell act in But I, just I, like... I think it's legal. Yeah, but, but do you she think argues? it's legal or do you know it's legal? I'm, and that this is this is down to like is, every single. I point. might have an intelligence of eight, but I'm pretty sure it's legal. <laughs> I think you're we, plenty intelligent. Uh, uh, <laughs> my suggestion is just challenge Jay on it. Just challenge okay. Jay. Yeah. Yeah. The, yeah. The worst thing you can do at the end of the day, D and D is about your game and your okay. table. Totally. Yeah. The DM would have the final. I challenge it. Yeah. I challenge it. Yeah. I'm gonna challenge it. Hey, it's Dad. Yeah, I'm. What? Oh, no, it's fine. You, you can call me back. Just, I just want you to know that sometimes your dad loses too, and it's okay, because I love, hello? Don't look at daddy. Don't look at dad. Don't look at daddy. Listen, here's the deal. Here's where I'm going. I'm gonna use the wand of wonder and hope it gets petrified and get on to the finals. That's all I can do. All right, fifth and final round. Hit dice? Yes, I'm spending some hit dice. Okay, are you spending any? No, I'm hit not, dice? Jason. I don't have any hit dice left. Yeah, you do. I don't you have, have your one No, I don't. Right. They're gone. Oh, okay. so They're gone. I'm, okay. I'm, I'm, back to, I'm back to the top. Back to four. I, okay. do I get any points for just quitting? No. no I don't. No. That's right. Okay. So I'm gonna continue. What, what are you doing? Before you do, we deliberated in the break. Oh yeah. And Jeremy Crawford ruled. Oh. that she can, in fact, do a second fireball <gasps> as an action surge. <gasps> what are you so talking about? We just saw, we just checked Ooh. it. So, that, for that reason, no way, that's so if okay. you can do your deck save, that's action surge. That's so, that's not. Roll, roll, oh. roll your deck save, Sixteen. Roll your damage. I make the decks. Oh. I totally disagree, Goodness. but this is your table, and I love you, so I, I acquiesce, and I, and I try to All get right. one last shot at it. And, okay, so I rolled 35 for the full damage. So it's 15. Uh, sorry. 30, 17. 17. Uh, 17. Okay. 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 I take your damage. Um, again, I still disagree, but I take your damage. I appreciate I, your yeah, candor, yeah. <laughs> but you should call Jeremy Crawford. I'm going to call Jeremy Thank Crawford. You, That's Jeremy okay. Crawford. All right. Uh, I'm going to take the wand to one Yes, I've been waiting and for this wand. Instead of shooting it at the Fae, yeah. because I'm pretty sure that's what I want to do, or, take, <laughs> or shoot it myself, I'm going to hopefully. I cast Paralyze or okay. something. So okay. ready? Okay. So, um, 12. That is not going to do anything. Oh, no. You no. are stunned until the start of your next turn. And you act as if something awesome has happened. So I literally, so just so you know, I cast my wand, I kind of twirl it in my hand like a drummer, and I go, yeah! And I immediately feel the beat and start drumming. Yeah. I can, it's like being at a Grateful Dead show, and I'm just playing along. And my fae yeah. is okay. like, what have you done? And I think in the name of saving itself, dissipates into the ether okay. and goes away. Because okay. I think that's the best thing sure. for the fae to do. Yeah. But as we do this, I look at you and I'm like, hey, like, dude, magic is the best, don't you think? Oh, that sounded like shit. <laughs> <laughs> it's a little weird. It's a little uncomfortable. <laughs> that's how Beatles talk. So he's like, oh. <laughs> what and happening? he literally, he peels off his armor in this moment because it doesn't give him enough freedom to play. Oh, that's right. beautiful. What it a way to go. Looking at my moment. swords like, did I, I, did, I didn't do that, right? I didn't do that. I did not. Okay. So if this is now my turn, I'm very, very confused Esmeralda. Um, will uh, cast a firebolt, I guess. I guess this, okay. is, this is what's left. Okay. Uh, 
That is a 11 to oh, hit. Stunned. Miss. That's advantage. Oh, it's stunned. advantage. Yeah. <gasps> okay. Well, that's much better. That is a dirty 20 to hit. That oh, my. He did hit. this to himself. So as, as he gleefully plays away, he takes a firebolt in the face, and he dies. Beetle goes down. That said, this he is, is what unconscious. He didn't want to see. Good play. No more hit dice to spend. Nothing. That is Done. a instant knockout. We are now the company known as Grim and Grim. <laughs> <laughs> so, thank you for that. My children will be so embarrassed. <laughs> All right, let's well, go to the result. All right. yeah, yeah. This result is brought to you by Noble Knight. Buy, sell, trade your tabletop collectibles at noblenight.com. Well, that was the fifth round, and I think we know who won that one. It was pretty obvious. Yeah, it's pretty clear where the chips fell. Congratulations to Esmeralda. And boy, did we see an amazing five rounds and quite a knockout. Absolutely, and I, I gotta say I enjoyed watching Beetle go down. He ripped off his armor, he played to the beat of his own drum, and it was kind of beautiful, a little bit sad, but at the end of the day, uh, the right person won. Absolutely, and you know, sometimes you just get hoisted by your own wand of wonder. So let's go see the official crowning. After five rounds of Dungeons and Dragons 5th edition combat, in the fifth round, we have a winner by knockout, Esmeralda. Yeah! Nice. Amazing job. Amazing. I got my Thanks, butt guys. kicked. For real. Post by interviews are brought to you by Chad Rowe Tattoos. Matt, that didn't go your way. The fifth round was a telling tale. You didn't get the job done, but you went out in a blaze of glory, playing your drum, shirt off. Bearing to the sun. How did you feel after that? Well, I felt betrayed. I felt uh, beaten. I was distracted by your handsome chin, and I want back. I want back next year, and I'm bringing Grim. Because clearly, what happened is I didn't have a corner, and nobody would call me back when I reached out for help. So I blame everyone but myself and my horrible play. <laughs> well, thank you for the uh, the compliment on the chin. This thing is. It I mean, served me well over the years, but didn't help you out today. That's for damn sure. Cut glass with that thing. It's so damn <laughs> handsome. I am distracted by your marvelous beauty. <laughs> Thank you. Well, we enjoyed having you play. I wish you could have got the victory, but me too. You I were outclassed. I hate Esmeralda. I hate her guts. Nora, my love, how did it feel for Esmeralda to take down Beetle? It felt amazing. I wasn't sure going in if, if I was gonna do any damage. He seemed like a really worthy opponent. And, and if you look at the stats, he really is. It really came down and I was nervous because in the first few rounds, like my dice rolls were really low, but you know, the, the saving grace was his wand of wonders is chaotic and it worked in my favor. And then again, fireball. I mean, honestly, the chaos gods were in your favor. And also, how'd you feel when you cast that clutch counter spell? You know, I that was a very heated moment. My heart was pounding. I didn't know if the, if the ruling was gonna stick, but man, oh, that was just like I, I felt so amazing at that point. And I thought that at that point, I'm like, oh, now I now I maybe have a shot at this because I was worried with that summoning Fey. Having two fighters against one is 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 no joke. Absolutely, you were on the battlefield. You held your own even with the Fey that you had to swat away. Now. Uh, speaking of heated, what about uh, being across the table from a world-class shit talker? What was that like? He is intense. He everything he does is at an eleven volume, and uh, and it's so full of energy that that's enough to just like knock you back five feet. All right. Well, the literal thunder wave at the table did not hold you down. You crushed this fight, and you're going on. Mm -hmm. So congratulations. Crush it again next year. Absolutely. All right. Let's see what happens next. This tournament update brought to you by Satine's Quest. Sign up for your ultimate RPG vacation experience at satinesquest.com. Vlanya. This Eladrin elf is a bard level 3, wizard level 5, and human a human? No, definitely a cobalt, maybe even three in a trench coat. 